you've seen the X1, you've seen we talked about the premium material, which is the metal. We talked about the uh, the arc slider mechanism. The, I don't know how well it comes out here. You see, it's it's curved so that when you open it up, it gives you a perfect viewing angle like this. And then, <coughs> speaking about the buttons, I, I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, the, the buttons themselves are shaped a little bit like a diamond. Um, and it's, it's not just any plastic chunk we put on there for, for you to be able to type in A, B, and C. These are really it's made made by a real designer. Uh, it's nothing that we just left behind and said, oh, by the way, we need to have a keyboard on there. No, it's, it was not like that. We said, let's make this a nice piece of design. For and that's also why we chose it, and where we were actually asked to be in the tent event, which is a design event more than anything else. But then on the inside, I mean, you, the way you look into the inside here is, of course, through the, the screen, which is a wide screen VGA, three inch wide screen VGA. It's, uh, I would say, top of the line in the industry today. It's wide screen and VGA and touch screen. One of the things that are truly unique with what Sony Ericsson is doing on Windows and how we allow people to be much more flexible than what we previously seen on any Windows device is through the panel concept. The panel concept is a way of letting the user have several active desktops running at the same time. <coughs> I'll say that again. The panel concept lets the user have different active desktops running at the same time. If you've used a Windows Mobile before, you had one desktop, it's called the Today Screen. And it looks like this. In case you haven't seen it. So we've known that some manufacturers have chosen to, to redo what, what they have on their uh, Today Screen. And uh, some users, they download applications to redo it themselves. So clearly there is an interest of of changing something sometimes. But the thing is, if you do this, traditionally, you're stuck with it. You install the panel, or you install something that morphs your user interface, and that's it. There's no going back. What we wanted to do instead was to say, you can use any desktop that you want. And it's not that we say, okay, maybe you are this person, so you should have the blue desktop, or you are a green person, so you should have a green desktop. No, it's more than that. We let you switch between different modes of your phone, switch to make it either an email machine, an office machine, or a media machine. And what we do is that we place that on top, on the surface, on your desktop, so that <coughs> you can reach, you can still reach anything within Windows Mobile from the desktop. I will show you show you this, for instance, here you have the start menu, you can reach everything, all the program menus and settings, whatever, whatever you want. It's reachable from each panel, but what's, ha what's interesting is what happened on the actual desktop. If this is not just any dead desktop, but it's not a background picture or anything, it's an active desktop. I'm going to talk much more about this, but you can, you can run applications directly onto the desktop. Some people like to refer to this as Web 3.0. I'd say that probably there is much more in Web 3.0 than this, but this is a good glimpse of where this industry is going. This is my favorite panel, um, and the reason why it's my favorite is probably because I work too much. It's my, I use this when I work. I have two time zones here. I have Malmö, where I live, and I have uh, San Francisco, where I'm about to move in, in, in a week or two. Um, I have some, uh, I know, these are my emails, some weather widgets, I have some shortcuts to applications and to people, so it doesn't distinguish between applications and people. So uh, this is my wife, my uh, phone conference, and my, my voicemail, and um, some applications that I use a lot, and my calendar, of course. So this is, this is a great dashboard for, for working or for, you know, very... I think if you've seen Windows Mobile, this is close to what you've seen probably already in some instances. But as I said, wherever you go, wherever you do, you might want to change and switch. So let's say if that was my, my email machine, 
in my other pocket, I will have a media machine. And this is how we do it. Remember, we are still on the desktop, so I can still reach the, uh, the start menu. I can still reach my calendar, contacts, everything from the start menu. But this is also an active menu where I can, I can browse with my finger like this, you can see. And from here, I can browse through all the media that I have on the phone. This is truly unique in the Windows industry, that you can do this directly onto your desktop. And if you've used the Sony Ericsson mobile phone before, <coughs> you will see that uh, you recognize this from, from our uh, Cybershot and Walkman range. We call it the unified media bar. And in this case, we talk about it as being the media experience panel. Because it's a panel, it's an active desktop that you can choose to put on top on your desktop when you want it to be there. And uh, talking about media, I just want to show you some a video clip here. Um, because this, you said it was a VGA, a wide VGA. It's excellent for video viewing. I've seen full-length movies on, on an airplane, and uh, really, really, really works well. Um, I think this thing here does not give uh, advantage to the picture quality here, because this is truly the best picture quality I have ever seen on such a device, ever. So I urge you to come and see it with your own eyes after this, um, because here it looks like just any other device, uh, but seeing it on this screen you will see it that I'm not just fooling around when I say this is the, truly the best picture quality that you've ever seen. So what you see here is the, the trailer to the new James Bond movie, and you're not going to see, obviously not going to see the full movie. <laughs> but it also allows uh, third-party application vendors to showcase the, their applications and to, to put them onto the desktop. Before we've seen, if you download, there are of course many things you can download on the net for, for Windows Mobile. So what you, what you do then is that you go into the programs menu and then, yeah, some, it's probably in here somewhere, the, the new program that I have. But what we do is, we let <coughs> the third party application vendors display what they have and do it directly on the desktop. Extremely powerful. This is one example. This is the SPD panel. It's a desktop, something that you, that you were able to download to your Windows Mobile, which redid your, your, uh, your desktop, so the Today screen. But after you did this, there was no turning back. You, cannot, you already changed the phone, you cannot change it back again. So in the panel concept, in, in the panel SDK, what we did is that we encapsulated this. We just took what was already there, this is, think about this, this is very, very powerful, because there's so much out there from Windows Mobile today. We encapsulate that into the panel concept and make it a desktop. And there you go, you can have it directly on the desktop, you can run the application. When the phone comes uh, initially, it will have a few empty spaces here, two empty spaces here, and that is to encourage people to start download new panels, because we want to make people aware that what you see on the phone is, is not static, you can change it. 